Over the last 60 years, plastics have enabled the world's advancement in many areas. Building materials, mobility, consumer goods, etc. were all areas where plastics supported substantial progress. However, its success brought to the forefront things that have been neglected for a long time. Simply spoken, consumption of plastic has outpaced the buildup of infrastructure for collection and processing. In my eyes, a next evolutionary step is necessary. The technology is there. What we need to focus on next is to make the economics as well as the behavioral side work so that we can achieve a higher circularity. Alpla was founded by my grandfather Olwyn and his brother Helmut Lena in 1955. They took their parents' laundry and converted it into a production space to dabble with a then very little known about material called plastics. The industry is looking at certain key areas in order to improve its offering. Circularity is a big topic and material science is certainly a second very important topic. For circularity, the industry is looking at ways to increase recycling capacity and we're looking at building out infrastructure. Plastic in and of itself has a lower CO2 footprint than conventional materials. It is lighter, it requires less energy to produce and form. For example, take a standard one liter water bottle out of glass. That takes up to 30 times more energy and CO2 thereof in order to be produced. Additionally, plastic can be collected and recycled and reprocessed. This, of course, requires the right collection and recycling infrastructure. The technical solutions, however, are available and are ready to be deployed. We at Alpla operate our own recycling plants in six countries and counting. We take sustainability very seriously. We are constantly looking for innovation potentials within our regular type business field and we are not even shy looking beyond that horizon. The new roll-up bottle design is setting new standards in terms of lightweight. It uses 50% less plastic compared to regular type bottles. The lightweight bottle structure combined with characteristic attribute provide unique additional convenience. Simply squeeze it like a tube and roll it up. By doing so, the consumer can easily get last portions of product out of the bottle and therefore minimize product waste. Our current invention, the simple one, is characterized by minimalism and simplicity, with no neck and no cap. The refill bottle is comprised of 75% recycled plastic. It is up to 60% lighter than a standard type bottle and therefore reduces CO2 emissions during transport, production and post-consumer recycling process. It simply is an optimal solution for applications for which a consumer refills product into stationary dispensing devices. Besides of having deep and decade-long technical expertise of conventional packaging design requirements, we see nowadays an increasing awareness across the globe for highly sustainable packaging solutions. Alpla's engagement in Beboco is a good example for that. We cope with cellulose fiber forming processes and develop paper-based bottle structures. We recognize that there is potential and future need for alternative type packaging solutions which are fully bio-based, fully recyclable and not necessarily made out of plastic. Alpla is technology leader in sustainable rigid plastic packaging. We develop and adopt state-of-the-art technologies which are ecologically and economically sound. Alpla's recycling approach for PET and HDPE is a good example for that. Typically, the world of plastic bottles consists of a wide range of different colors and applications. What we do is separate these colors in a first recycling step and produce a variety of monocolored PCR out of it. In other words, Alpla creates a color-to-color -color closed bottle loop which is enabling high yield and high quality recycling streams. We believe that this is the future perspective to ensure a sustainable use of HDP for consumer packaging.
Alpla has been involved in a lot of interesting collaborations. In 2018, Alpla has signed up to ambitious targets as part of the new plastics economy global commitment led by the Ellen MacArthur Foundation. All packaging solutions should be fully recyclable by 2025 and 25% of our total processed volume is post-consumer recycling material. Additionally, we are investing 50 million euro annually in our recycling activities. I think first off, it needs to be stated that the world has never been better off and we want to further develop those living standards. Packaging is critical to provide everyday needs and to drive living standards overall. Urbanization rates and population growth will put further pressure on this, so human ingenuity will be required to provide an ever-increasing living standard around the globe. Plastic is an indispensable element in that broader strategy for its lightweight, for its cost effectiveness, for its durability. Overall, the goal is to provide solutions to service the world while doing it in a resource-respective way.